sometimes we're working on the same project for several days in a row and then we have a deadline to get the video out so sometimes one or two little things don't ever get finished on our projects and now we have a pile up of a whole bunch of unfinished business we have to take care of we totally blinked and forgot to connect the drain to the back of our refrigerator when we finished the dinette and then the media cabinet behind it we topped everything with our leftover butcher block but we haven't put the butcher block topper piece on the back of this dinette seat yet. We need to install the fan for Mamacita's kitty glitter house. And Mike is going to upgrade the wiring on a couple of things. It's the defrost drain, I think. But we have to drill another hole in the floor of the bus to get the drain out. So yay, hole number 11 or something like that. 1100. You put that little connector piece with yeah, it? Yeah, it's a bayonet connector for our hosing. <laughs> and we got this and with this it. Tubing. About that much will easily get us out the bottom of the bus. So the hard part now, I think, is figuring how we're going to get we should drill a hole up from the bottom and feed this up and try to grab it from here i think and then i gotta drill a hole through the floor again need a hand help me too fat let me see if i can feed it up there and then I'll, I might have to pull this out and you grab the tube. Okay. Right. Okay. There we go. Here we go again. <laughs> that guy. Okay. Skinny chick to the rescue. Okay, All right, skinny so. chick. Reach down and grab that tube. Don't pull it too far. Oh. Okay, look out. Oh, I gotta get a haircut. Oh my god. Do you need me to hold the fridge while you do stuff back there? Yeah, if you would. Yeah. Can you? You got it? Yeah. I just hooked this clear wire here to the drain tube clear and it's... Hose. What did I say? Clear wire. wire? Clear hose to the drain hose, which is this hose. And it goes down through the floor. We are in. All right. Very nice. It's working. Okay, now we can screw it back in. One more perk of having an RV fridge. You can actually screw it to the freaking wall. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of truth to that. <laughs> that is a really good perk. Okay. One project checked off the list. Stuck to fill through the floor. Three eighths, that's what we need though. Here I go again on my own. That bit is buried. Is it long yeah. enough? I just don't know. Maybe I'm in a freaking rib or something. Oh, we didn't even go outside to check. Well, huh? the chances were one and. 30 or 50 or yeah, something. Yeah, but like that. with your luck, you probably nail it on the first try. <sighs> Dang, do you want me to try to go outside and look and figure well, out where How are you going to find out? Um, yeah. Okay, I can measure over. Here. Whatever you want to do. Hey, what do you want to measure from? To the thing on your left where there's another hole that goes through. Just give me an estimate measure. So from the center of our shoreline is 10 inches to our hole. Okay, I'm gonna go under there and look. Okay. Um, I can't even get to it yet. Hold on. Oh wait. Hey, I think you're coming through. I just don't have my glasses on, so I can't tell for sure. Try that again. Yeah. I don't know why it's 
it's not coming through. paperwork so we've got these cop they look silver but they're copper and uh, you use a crimping tool to crimp them on <clears throat> like that and I like to turn it and crimp it one more time is it like copper that's plated with something yeah I think so there we go so now that's on there got a nice big old honker battery on here like this and now the things that aren't running very well on our bus will suddenly run amazingly because there's enough current getting to it. So what we're doing today, this is one of the things we're doing today, is that battery there is a temporary battery. Um, we'll have probably eight of those right here eventually, but that's what we're using right now to make sure all the electricity works in the bus, uh, 12 volt electricity. However, up until this point, we were using this wire from the battery to our fuse block here, which was completely inadequate. So I've already put this on here. This is a uh, six gauge wire and it's buff and very thick and can carry substantially higher amount of current than these little things. And that's why we've had like low water pressure and stuff like that because the pump is just underfed for electricity. So right now we're just fashioning new wires here to um, uh, allow a lot more current to go through this and to power our stuff the way it should be powered. Okay, now now there's adequate power to all of our lights and everything else. I think I can fatten this out just enough. I know there's a flare tool. Right. We flare stuff around here. I need the flare, flare tool. Where is it? It's right here. Bless this mess. Okay, so all I gotta do is flare it like a tiny Remember when nut. I said no tools on the counter? Yeah. That rule didn't stick at all. Total failure. That's okay, we've got flare. So all we need was a little bit of flare. 19 pieces of flare. Don't I have the required amount of flare? <laughs> it's not about the required amount of flare, Claire. We need to talk about your flare. Really? I, I have 15 pieces on. Now, if you feel that the bare minimum is enough, then okay. But Brian, for example, has 37 pieces of flare on today. Okay. So I'm just going to flare this just a little. Just like that. And we'll do it through the other one. God, it's nice having the right tool for the job. Yeah. People are going, dude, you have every tool on them. Yeah, because we bought them all as the bus build progressed. <laughs> yeah, you just, you know, you can sacrifice if you want to. And you're gonna, you could make a great bus by with sacrificing. With very few tools. With very few tools, you really could. But, and, and uh, I'm, I'm not trying to brag. It's just that when you want to take it to that level that you've, you've set standards for yourself. Perfectionism and you want it to look at a certain that certain level, you're probably going to need to purchase the tools to do it. When you have that level of perfectionism, you need all the tools. It's going to be very difficult to do that with a handsaw and a hammer and a screwdriver. Like you need to buy some of the right tools and it takes the load off. It makes the job easier for you to do. In the end, we'll recoup a lot of the money that we spent on these tools. Clearly not the, all of it, but we're going to walk away with you know, the bus that we made to our standards and we'll be happy with that. Well, and we didn't build this bus to just be in it for six months yeah, or no, a year. Bus. We're building this bus for an indefinite period of time, so. We built this city. Gotta have all the tools. I got almost all the tools. Like someone brought up, why don't I have a plasma cutter? And I'm asking myself the same question. <laughs> why don't I have a plasma cutter? <laughs> because of her? <laughs> I can't have a pla I can't have nice things because of Carrie. <laughs> 
<laughs> ever. Every single thing you have, you bought without me knowing you were going to buy it. <laughs> There's so much truth to that. But even I have limits to like disappointing you. <laughs> like, I know better. He didn't feel that way about the drone goggles that cost $2,000. The drone and goggles. Not just the drone goggles. Oh, oh yeah, the goggles were 1000 the drone was 1000 right? No, the thousand, well, I got the extended warranty. <laughs> just in cases. Okay, so now we're gonna flatten that out. <clears throat> That's probably flat enough, I guess. And we're gonna flatten this out. Like that. And then, oh look. Ta-da, six gauge wire fits in the quarter inch copper tubing. Oh man, now this is not smushing on. Like you were hoping? Well, oh, maybe it will on this one back here. I'm just gonna have to like show who's the boss right now. <laughs> you have to hulk out on it. I did. I Turn did. green, baby. <laughs> Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Now we need my other one. And then we gotta drill it. And then we got to mount it to the wall. So that worked. There we go. What tool are you using? The crimping tool. This is actually for um for antenna cable. It's really Co cute. Cable. I'm gonna put googly eyes on it. Rah rah rah. <laughs> What is that made of? This go all the way. There. This one. Oh, I bet that hole's too small. I don't know, it's gonna work. We are now about to tie this whole thing to ground. I like your homemade thingy. It's it does pretty the job. Clever. Drop that screw. All of them. There. Finally. Woo! I used some thin wire for the pump, but it was too, it's just not drawing enough current to really run the pump very well. So we're gonna up it quite a bit to a bigger gauge than it actually needs. And that's good. Here's a little pro tip. Nine times out of ten, the wire with the writing on it will be positive. Need me to fit it through here? Sure. Where does it go after this? Right straight through the other side of the wall. The wall. There's a hole? Uh -huh. Oh, I see hole it now. Is it going anywhere? How much more? Any guesses what this giant storage cubby will be for? Oh, we should turn on the max fan. Please. All right, I feel the difference already. Good. Okay, so sticking with our little pro tip here, I'm just gonna make the written on wire positive and the other one negative. Okay, now let's go try the water. Oh, we didn't hook up this side. Oh. <laughs> Whoop. What the actual... Fudge? Um, I don't remember these things glowing. It this glows. has a built-in LED in it. I thought this one, I literally thought this was burning out. When you saw the red light? Yeah. Uh, pump style. <laughs> Whoops. Did I hook everything up right? Yes. Put the water on it. It's barely trickling. Okay. What am I missing here? It's so cool when it rains and you get to see how everything is working. 
how dry and water tight everything in your breast is. It's so fun to be out in your bus board in the rain. That's much better. That's some pressure now. That, that red meant the fuse was bad. Oh, that's what the red light meant? I've never seen that before. So once you change that fuse, then everything worked right? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed filming that. Yeah, I <laughs> didn't even know. Huh, well, you learn something new every day. Look at how hard it's raining right now. The rain is just coming down sideways, just pelting down. I didn't even know this was happening. It's blowing in sheets of rain out there. It's more nerve-wracking in here. I expect to look around and see a leak anywhere, but no leaks. Mama Kitty, you like the bus now? See, you got a good perch up here, man. No one can mess with you. She could spot all the birds outside. And hide from the hacking sacks, too. Huh, you're hiding in the bus with us. Oh, oh, she's so happy now. It's the fire in the rain. It's the smile within the pain. It's the logic but insane. Cannot know from where it came It's the way you cross the floor Before you head on out the door It's the figure on the wall So many times I heed the call It's the silence of the room Way you turn before you bloom Another shadow for the mind I think I'm gonna lose my mind It was kind of a cool afterthought when we installed the little cat area to have a fan and now it's like, well, we didn't think about the electricity a long time ago. And that's okay. Same as the Max fan. Hmm, didn't put in wiring for that. Mm -hmm. But we figured it out. Just big enough for this. The screen and fan is so cool. Oh my god. This is going to be so hard. This oh, thing. in that corner over there? But it, it has to be over here. Alright, Kitty Vent, take two. So I'm running up the hill I feel I'm always standing still Can't remember where I've been But you know where I should be Is the way to go. Nope. That's bad. That's too. Ah, oh, you're kidding. But we're almost through. Like so close. We just need to charge everything. <laughs> that was a breech birth, baby. You just came out butt first. That was a lot of work. I know your arms must be exhausted. Just like that. Nice. See this stuff fits. There it is. Okay, this is excellent. Everything fits. So what I'm doing, this is heat shrink tubing here. And I am 
making sure that I'm creating some strain relief because this little wire isn't very strong. The cool thing about this one is it heats up mega fast. But it is a pretty good soldering iron. Flowed very well once it's cool enough. Bring this over. So now it's shrunk. Making sure it's cooled off again. Then we can bring this over like this. Oh, so you have a double layer. Yeah, this yellow stuff wasn't like going to shrink enough to shrink over yeah. this wire. That so. Was it. Now we got enough wire to get underneath the bus. Okay. I'm a big fan of our kitty fan. We're out of space on our, uh, our fuse block for this. We're going to have to add another fuse block on there to accommodate a few more things. Yeah, because we don't have our heaters in yet. We have a whole lot more mm -hmm. stuff to add. Yeah. I mean, we learned as we went. If we were a, a freaking contractor, maybe we would have handled this like, oh, yeah, you know what? You need this. Don't forget your diesel heater. Okay. But that's not what happened. <laughs>